Hey Planner friends, it's Amber from Amber Plans Her Day and I am so excited to finally get to share with you my completed She Shed, Heavenly Haven, Crafty Corner, whatever the name is, I still don't know. But I'm really excited to share um, kind of the tour with you. So let's go inside. Welcome inside. Oh my goodness, it feels so nice to have this space. I'll give you guys a little bit of details about the She Shed and then we'll go into the tour. So the she said itself is 12 by 16. So it's roughly like 198 square feet and it is fully finished inside. We have like electricity and we have spaces for heaters and AC. I know some people were like, how are you gonna stay warm in the winter or cool in the summer? Um, we'll be able to buy some like portable heaters and ACs for the space. I think it's finally done. I think it's finally exactly how I want it to be. So we're just gonna go around. I'll share where I got products, if it pertains to um, you, got, you, know, you guys and whatever. So let's get started. So first, we have my Taylor Swift Eras Tour canvas. It's probably one of my favorite things in the whole She Shed because, well, if you know me, I love Taylor Swift. Um, and then as we come into this side table, I'm still figuring out where exactly these flowers are gonna go. I just feel like they don't fit anywhere quite yet. But we do have a record player. On the top, I have some papers that I need to sort through. Um, but I love listening to my records and I'll show you guys all my records on the wall as well. But we do have this little handy dandy guy. I just bought this when I moved into the She Shed and it is from canvas and i love it because you can like move it however you want and like this thingy moves so you can like film overhead you can film reels you can film angles all of the different things so i absolutely love this from canvas and then we have an ikea alex drawer here and basically everything in here is things that i use for filming since it's right next to my filming desk we have like scissors and mess right now but we have scissors and undo and pens and sharpies and tape and um, all of those different things in the second drawer i typically keep all of my sticker sheets as well as like my disc bound punch and then i have a bunch of my favorite pens from archer and olive my calliographs and just like different archer and olive things and then i have some archer and olive ribbon in this one i used to have acrylographs but i'll share kind of where those moved to and then I do have a couple other calligraph and acrylograph sets down there and then on the wall I have some record holders so all of my records except for one right now are Taylor Swift and I grabbed these clear acrylic record holders on uh, Amazon so I'll definitely link those for you guys but um, I'm probably gonna grab 1989 Taylor's version to put up here I don't know yet 1989 was never my favorite album but I might save it for rep Taylor's version because her reputation is for sure one of my favorites. Um, okay, I'm gonna move those flowers back and then we can talk about the filming desk. So this is my filming desk. I have a newer brand ring light. It's 18 inches. And then my husband and I found a wall um, mount for it on Amazon. So that's how we have it back there. Um, so that's really helpful for more light. And then this chair I got from my friend Aubrey, who I'll probably talk about a lot in the shed. She helped me kind of decorate it, but she found it at the thrift store for $5. Love a good deal. The desk itself is from Ikea. I feel like I need a new top because this one is whew, getting pretty messed up. But the Ikea's um, desks, the legs and the desktop are separate. So, and it's a very inexpensive option for desks. I do keep a little clear acrylic bin from Walmart just with all of my planning essentials on it. My tweezers and X-Acto knife and scissors and washi cutters and some of my favorite pens and some whiteout and all of those different things that kind of just stay right on my desk. Then up here, I do have an Erin Condren. I got this at Go Wild. I love it um, for kind of planning out my week where I can just see it very clearly on my windowsill. I do have some extra light bulbs. And then we have a really cute chair. This is the OG Happy News with Amber chair 
my friend Aubrey would be like, Amber, that goes there. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to look. I love sitting in here um, when I design stickers and um, whenever I am kind of just working or sitting or relaxing, more so like an idea phase versus in like working phase. So she also found this super cute lamp, I'm pretty sure at the thrift store. If you guys are local to Colorado Springs, let me know if you want Aubrey's number because she designed our whole first floor of our house. She did the whole office um, like decor wise and she is phenomenal. It's to begin again styling and whew, she's great. So she told me to put a little candle here just to like set the mood for the actual work day. I have a couple more albums read and is this Evermore? Yeah, this is Evermore. Don't hate me. I kind of like Evermore than, more than folklore. So don't hate me. Okay. And then she said, this is great to stay here because it's going to add color to your, I don't know, whatever. Sometimes it's hard to do all the things. I'm going to move the chair though. This chair is from Amazon. I don't recommend it. I love, I love it. I love that it's white, but if you guys sit on it with jeans, it gets discolored. That's kind of the only bummer, but it is a very nice desk chair. I do love it. Um, so this is my desk. So this is the same Ikea desk, but in a bigger size. So the tabletop is a bigger size, same legs though. And then I have an arc scan label printer. This prints all of the labels for Amber Plants Today. And then my desk is literally always filled with sticky notes all over the place. Um, but I do have a passion planner that I'm starting this week to try and like share how this layout's gonna work for me. So I keep at least one planner on my desk at all times. I have an iMac computer. I got this keyboard off of Amazon. Mike found me this Logitech mouse because I like it better. And then I got this um, wood like keyboard storage thing at the Target dollar spot. This pen storage is something that I actually sold maybe a year and a half ago. So I keep it on my desk, keeping all of my favorite pens on there. Again, sticky notes all over the place. I use the HP Envy Photo printer, 7855. I do really like it um, for the most part. And then I have like block pads, sticky notes, my iPad, everything kind of here for that. Then of course we have a couple more records. We have Midnight's and we have um, a Disney record because we do like Disney here too. And then I have my Cricut. I have the Explore 3 model and that sits on top of my second Ikea Alex drawer. And in this one, we have things that help me be successful at my desk. So we just have like a stapler. We have some more Cricut blades. We have, I don't even know what that is, a hard drive sticky notes. Then we have all of my ink. I do have HP instant ink. Then we just have some more Cricut materials in the bottom drawers. So just like some Cricut things that help me um, stay organized there. I do have a box fan right now, but next summer I'll grab that portable AC. Now, as we come over to this desk, again, same Ikea desk where we have the tabletop with the legs sold separately. This is Mike's working desk. I feel like I should have him tell you about it, but it is basically just all of the things that we use for packing orders. We have our cellophane bags. We have sticker sheets that we have yet to organize. We have our sticker sheet organizers. So this kind of helps us grab those sticker sheets pretty quickly when we're packing orders. Some smaller cellophane bags. Right now we have freebies. So if you guys um, order anything, you'll be getting a freebie with that order. We do have a little trash can down here and then just like some extra paper, just like for extra storage stuff here as well. And then as we come into this next two shelves, we have everything Amber Plants Her Day um, related and business related. So we have shelves. These are the Billy shelves from Ikea. I I'm obsessed with them. They fit so nicely. You get a bunch of sticker books here so that we can kind of keep them organized on the bottom shelves. We do have extra sticker sheets that are perfect for replenishing the stock on the desk. And then in this shelf here, we just have some of those packing materials. So we have 
like our bubble mailers that we use and then like the flat larger size rigid mailers that we use very rarely um, just some envelopes then we have more of our standard size rigid mailer if you guys are only ordering sticker sheets we have some like pins that probably should be down here and then we have these like are extras from fall collections that sold out. So I'm thinking those might be freebies eventually as well. We have a little scale, a label maker, and then the extra shipping labels. We have the journals, Your God's Masterpiece. This is a great hardbound journal if you guys ever um, want one of those. They're available on the website. We do have a Go Wild uh, Washington DC this one we have like three left so if you want one go to the website and grab one and then we do have some extra go wild pins but they are more related to any go wild this is a llama love we have our we are the planners we do have some I think sticker sticker sheet packs left over from go wild last year just a few of those we do still have some of our seasonal sticky notes which are my favorites as you saw them in my drawer I use them all the time priority mailers and other purple mailers and then down here at the bottom we have our sticker sheets we use online labels we love them and we mostly only use these now for custom um, stickers so for the custom words custom one little words and custom names and then i just have an extra cricut explore air 3 down there now this is the kind of the barrier shelf Aubrey is also the one who helped me kind of design this space. Of course, on the top, we have Amber Plan Today from Go Wild. We have the um, centerpiece, the lights, and then she helped me kind of like pick out some of these things. Most of the things that she picked out are from the thrift store. So it's just a really great deal. I love the bike bookends. A few years ago, like the Lord really showed me how the bike is part of the journey. And I just love having a piece of that in here as well. A super cute little hand mirror, some like, just some other really cute small elements to make this space look really cute. And then this shelf means the most to me, even though Rose played with it. Jeez oh, that's my kids for ya. This is from Costa Rica when I went on the missions trip last March. And then we also have a really cute like Cabo San Lucas 2017 when Mike and I went to Cabo together. On a cruise, we do have my portable speaker and on the bottom shelf, we just have some, our Cricut um, like heat press and the most recent Archer and Olive subscription box that I have yet to open because that is typically my life. So now, these two shelves, like, I feel like this is everyone's glorious dream of what their space would look like. Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, of course, came over and helped me organize all of this. And I'm going to share with you where everything is from and how it's all kind of organized. We have these like shelf splitters, organizers. I don't know what they're called. They are from Amazon. So I clip them kind of where to separate the spaces. So we have big unused planners we have big happy notes we have classic planners we have archer and olive journals we have other planners and then we have all these happy notes and happy guided journals we have all of my past planners that are full of memories and plans in them so that's kind of the only thing on this shelf like this acrylic shelf divider now as we come down one more shelf this whole entire shelf is Happy Planner stickers. This bin is from Target. It is the bright room option. <laughs> I'm like, what is, how do you even say it? I wonder if one of these has, has it on them still. Maybe I'll look for you guys so I can show you what the label looks like, but it is um, bright room bathroom. They're found in the bathroom section. I feel like there's no way I took them all off, but I guess I did. So these are from the bathroom section at Target. They're the medium sized and I'll have it linked for you. But I do love the way that they look. I do not own every Happy Planner sticker book ever created anymore. I stopped that about a year and a half ago, but I do still have literally so many. So then we come to the next shelf down and we have small business sticker books, my sticker books. Jojo sticker books and maybe a few others uh, in here as well. These storage bins are from Scrapbook. 
Hepaplanner.com and they um, have two different sizes. They have a size that fits Happy Planner sticker books and they have the size that fits the six by 10 sticker books. So if you're considering grabbing those, definitely uh, make sure you're grabbing the one that's bigger um, cause they fit so nicely. They have like ton, they have like little dividers. So you have like three little sections. They fit like a good 30 books in them. Here we just have like some box, this is Live Love Posh, um, some box sticker books and then some smaller journals that didn't really fit up there. And then some of these are labeled, like this is kind of a collection of all of the sticker books I've ever released. I kind of keep a copy for myself. We're kind of spewing over into this one though, and this one has some samples for future releases in it. So can't show you everything in there. Right now, Fan Favorites is at the front because it just released last weekend. So this next shelf, we have bins from the Home Edit. They, you can find them on at Walmart, wow, or on walmart.com. Um, but I absolutely love the Home Edit brand and they um, have these really amazing sizes. As you can see, they fit so perfectly on the Billy shelf from Ikea. And some of these are mislabeled, but all of these are props that I use in photo taking. So you have like some holiday stuff. We have a lot of the beaded garlands that I use, which I get at like Joanne, Hobby Lobby. Um, sometimes uh, this one specifically here is from Chalk Full of Love. So just a bunch of different places. I also grab some of these really cute like spread kindness little weights i got those at five no not five below um home goods at home goods so that's kind of my props here now the next shelf we have pens and this is probably like the most satisfying shelf to look at for me these clear acrylic jars are from amazon and i'll kind of share the pens that i have that i keep here for you guys. So we have mild liners, mild liner brush pens. We have a bunch of gel pens in the back, um, like Artran Olive, we have Muji. Then we have my favorites, um, Rytec sign brush pens. We have a couple jars of those and the Zig clear dot, clean dot mark pens. Then we have these, I got these drawers on Amazon. I'll make sure to link them and they're so stinking cute. This holds all of my Archer and Olive Acrylograph pens. And they um, are kind of sorted in rainbow order, but I'm not the best at sorting in rainbow order. So this is kind of as good as we get. And then I do have some like cups back here. I'm not JoJo status yet. This is my one and only Starbucks cup, but maybe I'll need to start like a shelf up there of them. And then after that, we have some more mild liner brush pens. And then this tin here is actually from Archer and Olive. You can see their logo here on the top. They do not have these anymore, but this is the same exact thing. This one is like maybe two fingertips wider than this one. Um, but it has, you can see that same handle design. So this one, like I said, is from Archer and Olive. This one, this drawer system is from Amazon. So I'll make sure to link this because the Archer and Olive is not available anymore. But this one has more of my neutrals and then the rest of my pinks that did not fit. In this home edit bin, we have just extra pens and markers that are brand new. So like when these ones dry out or whatever, I have some extras here. So we just have a bunch of zebra because I love zebra so much. We do have a couple Rytec sign brush pens. These ones we got at Go Wild. And I think that's basically it. everything else is zebra in there. And then we have this clear drawer system that I just hold washi tape in. This I want to say is from Michaels. It might be from Amazon. Um, I'll try to find it and link it for you guys. Um, but I have washed tape from a bunch of different brands, so no big deal there. Also, I did not say where this wooden, like this is a, like a ladder, like a tiered storage thing. That's from Target, just so you guys know. Okay, I'm gonna come on this side now. We have more uh, um, home edit bins. 
So in this one, we have just a bunch of kind of extra stuff. We have some journals, we have some dashboards and bookmarks and um, covers. I do have my photo printer in here. We just have some like random memory keeping stuff in here. <gasps> this is so cool. Rose's birthday is today. And this is four years ago. Dang, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> but anyway, so just like some old, like just some like memories that we want to keep really special. In here we do have paper. So this is my paper bin. These Happy Planner ones are hard to get in and out, um, but they're the ones that are pre-punched. And then also Joanne sells a bunch of like 12 or eight and a half by 11 sized scrapbook paper, which is what I mostly use also. In here, I have some bandeau stickers. We have gold mine and cocoa stickers. I have some Happy Planner stencils, which honestly can probably go there. And then we have like some of the Happy Planner larger sized sticker books. And then in the back, we have Mambi sticks. So some of those larger sized sticker books from the Happy Planner. In here, I do in fact have filler paper again from the home edit. We just have varying sizes and different things. We have like just regular classic filler paper. We have large size memory keeping filler paper, blank filler paper, like folders, like Pixar filler paper. I mean, literally like it just is endless. We have some daily sheets, just different things that I would use like block pads that I would use when I'm planning. Down here, I have Archer and Olive things from their subscription box. So I have, these are probably the most recent two subscription boxes whenever I go through the new one that I showed you, I'll put a lot of that stuff in here as well. So this is the stuff whenever I'm sitting down kind of for my creativity, um, I will use this um, stuff in here. This bin is go wild stuff. We have journals and like pads and memory things. And this, ugh, I, I wanna finish my pen from this is Tisa, that was one of my favorites. I have my lanyard in here. Just like a bunch of like that random stuff from Go Wild. And then in here we have storage. So I have like all of my Happy Planner covers that I use or the bags and um, different like packs and different things like that. Then for the last shelf, we have the super fun stuff inside. We have five of them because we have five kids. I have some more sticker books from Wonder Judge Plans. Go Wild 2023. Whenever we get 2024, I'll put it next to it. Plan a happy life. We have JoJo's sticker storage. And then we have all of my discs. That is a lot to go through. And a lot of those smaller bins that the discs are in are from the home edit as well. At Walmart, you buy like a collection of bins. So it comes with like two of these size and, and a couple of the smaller ones and different things like that. So in this corner, we have a blanket ladder. This is really, really old. I want to say it's from the store Kirkland's. Um, and then I just grab the fabric at Joanne. I just say, give me a yard of whatever fabric I choose. And we have that um, for photos and different things like that. Then Aubrey, again, to begin again styling, she found this flamingo artwork for me. I'm obsessed with it. If you don't know, recently I fell in love with flamingos. And the main reason is because I learned that flamingos, after they give birth or their eggs hatch, or I don't know, whenever they get their baby flamingos, they actually lose their color pink because they are so ingrained in taking care of their young that they lose their pink. So I am very much in a season and I have been. Um, my oldest is seven, but she came to us when she was three. So four years ago, Rose is also four and Malachi is two, Vinny's almost four, Ezra's five or Ezra's six. So like for the past four years, I've very much not had my pink. And I am just encouraging myself with this picture in my office to remind myself that I will get my pink back. So anyway, I love that picture in my office. Down here is some de-stash stuff that I need to kind of go through and make bundles or figure out exactly how I'm going to kind of get rid of some of these de-stash things. In the middle of the floor, we do have a carpet 
and I wasn't sure how much I wanted a rug in my office, but I'm obsessed with it now. I actually am such a floor sitter and I love laying on the floor. So if I'm not designing in my flower chair, I'm typically designing on the floor. I love the floor so much. I'm really glad to have found that. I also found that at Home Goods. So um, a really good deal. It had like a blue stain on it right here. Mike took the shampooer to it and you can barely, barely see it. You guys might not even be able to see it at all, but you just see a very little bit of it. And I got like 20% off of it. So it's fine by me, fine by me. So I really like it. And this is my office. So whenever I come in here in the day, I just kind of, you know, close the door. I typically start by lighting my candle and sitting down at my desk, looking at the different things that I need to get done for the day. And then um, I film a lot and um, it's been a really peaceful transition to being in my office, to being in my shed. And I just love it. I love getting the commute to work being 0.7 seconds only with minimal objects to dang you can't see it why it's too bright outside um with only minimal objects to trip upon such as a stationary bike a gymnastics bar and many other digging toys so that's kind of my life we just sort you know go through the obstacle course and i get to my office and i get to enjoy peacefully working and accomplishing a lot of things. If you guys have any specific questions about where things are from or um, where you can find certain things, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna share as much as I can to the items that I can find online. And then if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and I can share them with you as best I can. With that being said, you guys, this is my she shed, heavenly haven. I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but it is here, my babe cave, my, my crafty corner, my working space, and it has truly been so much fun. So if you guys have ever considered getting a she shed built in your backyard, definitely let me know that in the comments too. I can share my experience with that. Um, we found a great, great guy to work with here locally, and he obviously did a very, very phenomenal job um with the shed and it is very very amazing in here and i absolutely love being in here with that being said you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button to miss any future videos of mine and i'll see you next time bye